And welcome back. Now we are in Los Angeles. And uh, are you ready for this? I don't know if I am. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, our show brings together some pretty unusual combinations of people. And this week is no exception. Welcome to our panel this week. <laughs> Thank you. Ann Hi. Coulter is, of course, one of the best-known conservative commentators in the world. Her latest book, Resistance is Futile, How the Trump-Hating Left Lost Its Collective Mind, is her 13th New York Times bestseller. Congratulations on that. Stephanie Miller, one of the best-known progressive pundits on the planet. The Stephanie Miller Show airs on Sirius XM and on Real Talk 910 AM in our new home of the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, welcome to you both. Good to have you here. It's delightful. Thank you. <laughs> Already. <laughs> so we just heard from Congressman Schiff, of course, the, one of the big stories of this week, uh, the Mueller report. Uh, your thoughts after uh, seeing the, what we saw of the report so far and hearing from the congressman. Well, I wasn't surprised that there's no collusion. Of course, there was no collusion. It was <coughs> such a crazy conspiracy theory um, from the beginning. But uh, wow, it makes the media look bad. I mean, this is it's as if. Um, the left, i.e. the media, um, and the Democrats decided they're just going to start pushing I don't know, a birther theory. If, they had, if the Republican Party had done that for three years under and had committees on it and we're going to have the citizenship committee and we're going to push that Obama was actually born in Kenya and you just would sit back and watch these TV shows with never a dissenting voice. And by the way, thank you for having me on um, because you don't see that on TV these days. So they build these elaborate fantasies. If you had one normal person who knew anything there who could pull the card out with one little fact, then the theories come crashing down. And, you know, that, that's Robert Mueller has to assemble facts. Um, he certainly put together a group of prosecutors who detest Donald Trump. If they had been able to find something, I think they would have. Just the title of her book already pissed me off. And then you had to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, listen, we met in the 90s. Remember the late 90s during the Clinton prosecution? Are you kidding me? If you substituted the name Clinton or Obama with this unbelievable array of offenses. We're already past a zillion impeachable offenses. Adam Schiff was brilliant both in your interview and, and on the House floor this week. I mean, that was some Mr. Smith goes to Washington stuff. He laid out the, plan, the, the, whole, uh, the whole prosecution beautifully. And, and are you kidding me? We had a, a huge star report that every, we got to see every comma. We know every curvature of Bill Clinton's penis. You and I had to discuss it on the air in 1998 or whatever it was. And this is over a consensual BJ. This is a, a active Russian asset with the nuclear codes. You Really? He stood there in Helsinki and said, I agree with Putin and not our 17 intelligence agencies. And you didn't think that seemed a little weird. You don't think him ticking off everything on Putin's wish list is a little weird. Again, as Schiff said, we may not have reached the bar for criminal conspiracy, but the collusion is in plain sight. And he cited it uh, one thing after the other. I mean, he, he laid out a pretty long case on our show. What, what did you think of that? No, I think it's just pointing and sputtering and anything Trump does. He's doing the things indictments? that he's allowed. How not, many guilty pleas? How many people in prison? Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> it has nothing to do with collusion. Everything he does as president, they scream and say he is the president. He's going to meet with foreign leaders. He ran on having good relations A with Russia. contacts with and Russians? And in fact, I think these crazy um, conspiracy theories have harmed our foreign policy. That is what people voted for. In the primaries, um, George Pataki, he kind of went away quickly. He said, oh, how tough he was going to be with Russia and he wants another Cold War. That's not what Donald Trump ran on. What he ran on was, I want to have good relations with a nuclear armed power, and we voted for him. But we haven't been able to get that policy because of this hysteria. And you can, you know, sit, call someone a Russian asset and say it was a consensual affair. But that, I mean, just to quickly compare, we had a president of the United States being sued in a civil rights action who went in and per took an oath and perjured himself over and over and over again. To say oh, and Donald Trump woman, has only lied, what is it, 9,000 something terrible no, he, times he, he, no, while he's I in think, office? No, he and and, none and of it is under oath. Did, you can well, say he did. Yes, that's that's he didn't do an interview spotting. under oath even though they asked for it. Well, them. okay, but what they call lies are, um, no, vanilla is better than strawberry ice cream. That's a lie. It's a lie. We have 3,000. Like, none of them are lies. None of it is. He's a president talking about being no. president. We had a, a president I didn't who know perjured himself 
off, pay off to Stormy Daniels. Uh, I, enough that that all Supreme Court justices boycotted Clinton's next State of the Union. You can't go in and lie and perjure yourself. There's okay. nothing like that. We don't okay. even know. Tell me Let's, what the lie was that Trump told. I'm going to spontaneously combust like, a spinal, like a spinal tap drummer. These 3,000. I, I am not going to survive this, this today. Okay, but let's, hold let's, on let's, other than pointing and spluttering. Are you kidding me? Are you I, kidding me isn't an argument. What, how, really? So He's a Russian Clinton agent Obama's isn't an argument. campaign manager, deputy campaign manager, national security advisor, personal lawyer were all in prison or on their way there. What? Seriously? Having nothing to do with Donald Trump. Nothing to do with Donald Trump. When I you, mean, the Whitewater once affair. Once again, Trump campaign manager, people, Trump lawyer. Put more people in prison, and they were much closer Our, to Trump, and they were dealing with it. Let's try to not it's do the slapping, 90s again. Is slapping involved? <laughs> I just want to ask if slapping let, is allowed. Let, well, let's, let's, look, facts are facts, and I just want to point out I'm citing facts, and she's sputtering. I'm sputtering? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so would you like to see the Mueller report? Instead of of course instead of okay, oh well, let's oh but that's the new conspiracy theory that oh secretly they found collusion but Barr is lying they to found us obstruction. maybe Mueller There's is a Russian agent too. There's obstruction we haven't even heard about yet. <laughs> let's no, talk we for have a, moment. a president being president. It is not president to be exercise the office. Stephanie, next week you're yes. going to be holding a town hall in Congressman Adam Schiff's district yes. along with Tom Steyer for need to impeach. Uh, this is going to be happening in Glendale. Yeah. Uh, why do you think that there's still a need to impeach? Because a lot of people hear now that there's no collusion and they think that impeachment should be taken off the table. Even Congressman Schiff has been said that probably we're not even close to the bar for impeachment. I don't think he said that. I think he said that Mueller didn't reach the, the... First of all, I don't understand if you can't indict a sitting president, president why did he use that that you know level of the law then why did he use you yeah, have no, to get to did. this i think you can indict a sitting president well i do too that's just a memo we so. agree and we also <laughs> agree that donald trump is an idiot if i'm reading your twitter feed correctly <laughs> let's just go out for tequila shots and call it a day <laughs> Why is, there need, why, is there, why is there a need yes, to impeach Yes, we should impeach him for not building the wall. Everything else is nonsense. <laughs> I don't, listen, I don't care. That's fine. Sure. Let's say for the wall. Yes, for not building the wall. Sure. Okay. But if you would read my book, Resistance is Futile, I think I have excellent advice for liberals. Really? I'd rather they pour have been hot running coffee off. in my private parts. <laughs> um, also not fact-based. Um, okay. They have been running off on these crazy conspiracy theories, making themselves look ridiculous. I mean, I, I really wouldn't want to be Nancy Pelosi right now. I would like Adam Schiff to stay. I mean, I guess I'm going to prefer Trump to whatever lunatic the Democrats are on next time. Schiff is not helping the Democratic Party. You want to go after Trump, go after him for violating his promises. They didn't win the midterm elections by screaming about Russian assets and Russian agent and Russian collusion. They talked about issues that people care about. This crazy conspiracy theory, I mean, look, MSNBC and CNN may be happy they can get three million viewers every night. I bet you if you put a show on TV where we're just going to promote a flat earth theory, you could probably get three million Americans to watch every night and get really obsessed with it. That's what our news media has been doing to us. All they care about is their bottom line. They should stop calling themselves news, call themselves entertainment, flat earth theory next week, this week Russian collusion, because they aren't reporting the news. They have had to retract one thing after another on this whole Russian thing, and haha, -ha, now we get the truth, and these poor souls who thought it was a flat earth discovered it's not flat after all. Okay, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to leave the that. The Republicans of the party, the flat earth, but I, I, I mean... That's Okay. Not a fact. We're, that is just so name calling, we're, we're, calling and so sputtering. So you're celebrating that we're only up to 34 indictments and there's only most people in his inner circle right. are going to prison. Did you care about that with Whitewater? Look, when you look at people, there you are... You investigated Whitewater for zillions of years for how many no, times? And, and, and found Look, if they don't want to talk about the 90s... In, and there was a big Benghazi investigation as well. We, Eleven. Look at, yeah. The point is, that, yes, but people around Clinton, very close to Clinton, and involved in actual business dealings with him, were, were, were corrupt and were arrested and went to prison. Okay, same thing with Manafort, and I might add... In, Manaf in Manafort's case, no other campaign consultants would work with Trump. Remember that? He was kind of, this is a guy who lives in my building and he worked for Gerald Ford. He wasn't taking the pick of the litter. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to have to leave it there. I'm glad we found so much room That's to agree. That's her best case. Trump's an idiot uh, who can't get anyone to work for. Oh, okay. That's not a crook. <laughs>
Madonna sang about the borderline. And speaking of the border, the president says Mexico, if Mexico doesn't immediately stop any illegal immigration coming in through the southern border, he'll be closing portions of the border next week. So what does that mean? Back with our panel, Ann Coulter, Stephanie Miller. Stephanie, what do you make of that tweet? <sighs> okay. I, oh, I hear from Fox News that it's the mother of all caravans coming this time. Did you hear that? It's a caravan and infrastructure week again. I, this is so ridiculous because, first of all, just to touch on Mueller again, 60 percent of the American people almost think that this this bar cover up did not exonerate the president. Eighty four percent want to see the full Mueller report. He is always trying to distract from something. You know very well that borders crossings are at a 40 year low. We, we do not need this stupid wall, whatever it's made of, see through whatever it is today. He is a con man and a grifter and a criminal. It's just there is. It, it doesn't matter what the subject is. It, it is he is just uh, he is just a he, uh, every day there's a competition before just complete incompetence, incoherence. Should we should we shut down the border next week? Well, I don't know what he means, but I mean, listening to Stephanie, this is why he can do nothing and he'll be reelected. All he does is talk, talk, talk. He never actually does anything. But then liberals are hysterical. So people listening think, well, I want a border. He must be doing it. No, he's not doing anything. He's a, he talks a good game. Yeah, of course, we should shut it down. Um, that used to be an issue the left cared about. Bernie Sanders had a position on immigration, indistinguishable from Donald Trump's. Why? Because it, who does it hurt? It doesn't hurt Stephanie. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt me. Um, I mean, except to the extent we love our fellow Americans, it hurts the working class. It's their jobs, their communities, their hospitals, their schools that are being overwhelmed. Bernie Sanders said to Vox when he first ran for president, they, they just assumed he was for open borders. And he said, no, open borders is a Koch brothers idea. Yeah. If Democrats were smart, they would run on the old Bernie Sanders position, point out that all Trump does is talk, he doesn't do anything, and they could beat him. But they won't. They're running off on Russia. But he, but, well, and, he and Bernie could, Sanders has changed his position. <laughs> Yes. Since then. And maybe Donald Trump could stop using illegal no, immigrants No, he has. Himself. He checks back in with the mothership of the Democratic Party. Yeah. No, let's take issues that screw over the working class. But, but, and then please, he'll get reelected again Trump and again. Donald is a hypocrite like everyone else on the right, and you know it. He employs a bunch of illegal immigrants himself. Please, this crap about you helping the working man. He doesn't care but, about that. Okay. I don't care what he does personally other than not keeping his promises. Keep your promise. Don't, I don't care if he, so, so if he had uh, employed illegals, and I don't even know if it's we, true. We, but I agree with her true. again. He Who doesn't cares? keep any of his promises, and now we've entered a wormhole in the he universe. He said he would build a wall, would deport illegals, would bring the jobs back. He could so transform America and transform the two parties. These aren't traditional Republican issues. They're pro-American issues, thus his campaign promise. Really? Baby and jails? Instead, Baby jails in. is, is an American issue? That's something that should make you us proud what, as Americans? You know the richest man in the world, or at least periodically, is Carlos Slim. He he is a Mexican. How about the rich in Mexico take care of their poor, and the rich in America take care of America's well, most poor? Most of these people aren't Mexican. They're they're Guatemalans okay. How about the rich in Guatemala take care of them? How did the poor people of the universe become? Our problem, we're not a battered women's shelter. We have our own poor people. From, from a, from and if a, you don't care about our own poor people, then, yep, let them all in, because you'll get cheap labor and cheap a, maids I can't and cheap see. Are you still wearing your crucifix that you usually wear? Because have you read anything Jesus actually said? Why, Who yes, was a refugee? I have. Okay. Well, let, let's talk <laughs> about the logistics of this, though. If you actually close the border, mm -hmm. what would that look like? I what don't would know that what do he's talking to society? about. Oh, it would be great for society, but we also have to throw in the deportations. For one, I mean... I, Everything gets easier with a closed border. Look at one of the biggest problems we have, the drug overdose problem, opioids. How do they, how do they, they, how come do they think they get here? They ports of entry. You know those are not... This is so please, insane. Please. No, this they're is caught such a at point discussion. of entries because that's where the guards are. It's like the old joke about the guy looking for the keys under the light. Is that where you lost them? No, but the light's better here. Yeah, they get caught at the ports of entry. We don't know how many are getting through where there are no guards catching them. That's so absurd. But the point is 90% of illegal um, drugs, heroin, um, fentanyl, opioids, they are coming from Mexico. Mexico, read Sam Quinones' Dreamland. Okay, let's let's leave that one there. But another big issue uh, this week was uh, Jesse Smollett, uh, <laughs> the Empire actor, who uh, apparently they dropped all the charges for some reason. It's not really exactly clear why. The prosecutor saying we think that he was guilty, but we're still dropping the charges. Um, 
you think that this is really going to help? Yeah, the, it's a the, national the emergency, president. like the president said, Ann. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I think One black guy getting away with something once. I wow. Hate. Let's call the National Guard. I, I don't want to disagree because... I'm not even sure I want Trump reelected, and Smollett is is going to get Trump reelected. Is just so outrageous, so corrupt. Um, and meanwhile, you have a woke Joe Biden going around campaigning against um, the English jurisprudential system. That's the white man's justice. That's Joe Biden's big position this week. Yeah, the white man's position being justice is blind. It shouldn't be because you fit certain categories and you can waste all of this money. I mean, the Smollett issue is so obviously bad for the Democrats that who do we have all over TV denouncing it? Rahm Emanuel. He cares about Democrats winning. I don't particularly care, so take it away, Stephanie. <laughs> so, okay, most of the people closest to Trump are already in jail or on their way there. Bob Barr is clearly trying to cover up, you know, and obviously Russian stop asset. the rest of this. From, But what one actor with obviously a, probably a mental health issue, he really, that's another bright line that's okay to cross now. He ordered the Justice Department to investigate an actor. That possibly staged a prank, really. An this is, it's another sta distraction. Possibly staged a prank. He accused Sh Trump supporters, white Trump supporters, of committing a hate okay. crime against him. There are always retaliatory crimes. The New crimes. Zealand ter when terrorists, these names, names Trump, come out. Name this, check Trump. This was the synagogue all, shooter. This has nothing name to do with checked. anything. Do, you, do we think, do we think that, uh, that Justice Smollett should have to pay back the city of Chicago, which is something Rahm that Rahm Emanuel does. Said. They're demanding yeah, $130,000. Do you think that makes sense? I just... This is, and that's the one thing Ann and I agree on. Donald Trump is a disaster. He is a, this isn't a presidency, it's a crime spree. It is a, a corruption, a incompetence spree. I really we don't do not care agree, if some actor, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you about, you know, like, I just don't think it's, a, there are so many things. He just took health, he's trying to take health insurance away from millions of Americans. Yeah. Just this week, he tried to cut funding to the, for the Special Olympics until there was an outcry. I just don't care about. The, I just want to conclude by saying, and, and Stephanie by the way, and I do he has agree. Been cited. There have been some of these shooters have had MAGA caps in their Stephanie, Instagram. So please, we word. do agree that Donald Trump is the best president in our lifetime. Stephanie and I agree on that. Okay, just want to do the same about, thing you're do doing we, to do me. Do we agree that we like California <laughs> at, as, as a concept? <laughs> I, love, like, I like, the weather. like the weather here. I like the weather. We like that, and we like the people. Some of the good people <laughs> yes, of I San like Francisco. You. Like you are, most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't touch. We got some music uh, for our friends uh, in San Francisco who are joining us for the first time. Uh, so thank you both thank uh, you. for being a part of this, and thank you for being good sports. This was so the opposite of fun, and I really appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs>